Hi, I'm Josiah DeBovey. I'm a Physics 3 student at Freedom Area High School. Um, so in Physics 3, we explore some concepts that are a little different from Physics 1 and 2. We started the year off doing Philosophy of Science, which might not sound very interesting at first, but it's actually a lot cooler than it seems. Uh, so we did a lot of uh, hard questions that we talked about. We had a lot of interesting discussions and there was a lot of deep thinking involved for that uh, unit. Uh, then we moved on to electricity, so we started with static electricity, then we moved to current electricity, and now we're on magnetism. Uh, so all of those units had a lot of subunits in a lot of different areas that we uh, would explore and learn about in there. So Physics 3, I'd say, is a lot more hands-on than Physics 1 and 2, because when we were doing static electricity, we would always have a demonstration that we could watch and Dr. Wargo would explain what was going on and we could see what was going on also. Um, then we moved on to current electricity and we would actually go back to the lab tables and we could actually set up the circuits that we had made or drawn out on the chalkboard. Um, with magnetism, which is what we're doing now, there's not really a whole lot of opportunities to uh, do hands-on work because school got cancelled for the end of the 2020 school year. But it's still very interesting to learn about online, and Dr. Wargo still does a great job at teaching, even though we can't do the lab work. Um, so I think Dr. Wargo's class has a very good balance between uh, hands-on work, demonstrations, uh, lecturing, and quizzes. And I think that it is a setup that appeals to most students, and I would highly recommend it to anybody who is interested.